The Las Vegas Raiders posted a quote graphic on social media that said, quote, I can breathe after former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin's conviction for the murder of George Floyd. And the NFL franchise is facing backlash. I'm Madeline Burke for Sports Illustrated here with SI's Wilton Jackson and Ashley Nicole Moss. And guys, Raiders owner Mark Davis acknowledged the offense of the tweet saying, quote, if I offended the family, then I'm deeply, deeply disappointed but added that the organization will not be deleting the tweet. Ashley, what do you make of this? Well, that in itself is a problem. To know that you could possibly offend somebody or a group of people who are dealing with just tragedy after tragedy within their community and still not feel the need to remove it is a problem. It's insensitive. And I don't know why this was even thought of, why this was even something that you would even put out into the universe after such a dramatic trial and even with it being as clear as day for the black community they were still on eggshells we were still on eggshells because we did not know whether or not justice was going to be served because in the past that doesn't matter the ev all the evidence in the world does not matter so knowing the sensitivity and the climate and the protest and the boycotts and the riots everything that has transpired over this pandemic this past year to not use your platform to project positivity and project hope is just so irresponsible to me. It speaks to a broader issue of not having diversity in your social teams or within your organization, whatever the case may be, because somebody in that room should have stood up and said, this is not okay. And I understand that he said that he was trying to play on words on what the family said, but the family says we can't breathe, meaning, or we can breathe now, finally, meaning the community as a whole. But saying I can breathe George Floyd is not here. He was murdered. He can't breathe. He's no longer with his family. So putting that out there is not playing on words of what the family said. It's just irresponsible and it's ignorant. And I don't like it. You know, Ashley and Madeline, I have to say the same thing. When I when I saw this tweet, I read it once. I read it a second time. And then I read it a third time. And I asked myself, did he really just say that? I mean, this is like when you think about this, for me, it was extremely distasteful. It's, it was disrespectful due to the fact that George Floyd, as Ashley said, he uttered these words, I can't breathe, right before he was killed. So when I think about that, it makes me think about, for those who may not know, that you know, Black people have dealt with these issues of, of police brutality for more than 70 years. And if you really think about it, in terms of getting the same freedoms and rights and justices in society, it's been longer than that. So when I look at this tweet, this is more so of a direct indication that this country has a long way to go in terms of figuring out giving proper justice and adequate justice for all people in society. After all, this is what this country is founded upon. And as a proud black man myself, yesterday I was afraid when the verdict came out. And I think I could probably speak for not only just African-American men, but African-American people around this, around this country that they were afraid. And so we shouldn't necessarily have to feel afraid that the verdict was going to come back than what, it, than what it actually came back to. And it also serves as a direct reminder about something that my mom always tells me that I, that I took for granted as a kid, that, you know, at the end of the day, you always want to be a genuine human being. But as a reminder, at the end of the day, you're still a black man in America. Yeah. And, you know, when this verdict did come out, Floyd's brother said, quote, today we are able to breathe again. And if you want to pay respect to that quote, then the Raiders should have used that quote. This is not a quote that you play on, especially when this man, the tragedy of this situation is that millions of people watched as this man said repeatedly, I can't breathe. Millions of people saw a video in which a man was murdered and justice or or accountability, whatever we want to call it, the man who did it was found guilty. But moments after the guilty verdict came out in Minnesota, a Columbus police officer fatally shot a 16-year-old girl, Makia Bryant. So this issue in America is far from over. And individuals, brands, the world doesn't need Adobe Photoshop design statements and social media performance. The world needs change. The world needs action. This is not an issue for brands to take advantage and use their voice for brand awareness. This is an issue of civil rights and of humanity.